Falcons versus Aurora, game number one. Suns fan here with the Cindermeister. Dyer's middle tower <laughs> is under attack. He's Has there been a more aggressive mid laner? He's still going. Malreen. Oh, well, first blood might come over here as Crit trying to run away from the Medusa and Ollie gets off the blood grenade. Last right click is there. 23 Savage. First blood. Still need to fix that. That's true. I'm I'm sure they'll come around to that. They just need to re-record 200 voice lines or 300. On, I already told you the solution. And 100 different characters. Why can't you see what I see? You just take the double damage sound and cut the double. That's right. And rename the rune, of course, as Crit's going to be able to dodge the Echo Stomp as the swash is here from Malreen. Rolling Thunder connects onto Loranov. Can he find enough connections for the kill? Crit with the Blood Grenade. It will cost him his life, but more importantly, Malreen gets the kill onto Loranov. As Q shows up as well, we'll be swashing from the high ground. Loranov wants to chase, though. Shackle does hit. Sticky bomb stolen oh, that's as Q will stomp. use it. Echo stomp onto two. Malreen is dead. Snaking is next. Great job from Aurora as they now have a 1k lead. Amar is going to pressure the tier one in the meantime. Bottom will go down one way or another. Can Jabs go for the deny? Won't try. Oh, TPN from Loranov. Snaking. Hello, Snaking. Spot Loranov. Or is it the other way around? Illusion Rune being used to dispel the Frostbite as Snaking gets off his ult, but the Power Shot finishes him off as Malreen. Well, not able to get the first connection on the Rolling Thunder, so now we'll try to roll away as Jabs using that pure damage to his advantage That's a good onto stop. Skeeter. Swashbuckle from afar. Echo Stomp. Not quite there as the Blast Off comes in. Try to counteract this. The Taser as well, but it's not enough. And Aurora end up netting three kills for themselves. And it's an 8-1 advantage. It's not just for the practice and for the fans here. I mean, despite it's definitely this, something on the line. We're going to have the stun from Amar as the rest of his team are coming to clean up jabs. They'll get him. So 8-2, but only a 1k lead for Aurora. Select your stun to only target heroes. Might be good. You know, there was a time where that would have enraged a very large percentage of the Dota player base. Now I think... Uh, for all these years, Apathy has set in. Shackle shot. Crit. Oh, actually Echo stomps now. It. Amar jumps right into the thick of things. They're going to lose Crit anyway, and now Amar on the run. <laughs> and sna and Snaking gets deleted by Jabs. Okay. Well, it looks like uh, 23 wants to do stuff. Yeah, it looks like it. The He's doing stuff all right. 23 Savage. Hitting the tower. Fortification comes out. Damage is still on the Windrunner. As the swashes continue on to lower the mana capacity of 23. Power is gone. Absolutely. That is the siege. That is 23. Not on the map. Lost the second set, got ganked again, and lost the third. That's how I remember the game. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, you're probably right. I usually are. Lornoff. Not Lornoff. Hounding Amar. Amar. Chakram's going to come for you. Oh, he tries to TP out. The lift. the lift. And now Amar will go down to the focus fire, among other things. Although Skeeter's uh, here with an eclipse. Immediate okay. BKB from Lorna. Now he tries to run away as Jabs also pops that BKB. Q. He steals Moonglaze. Very useful as Jabs. Timber chains to safety is the ET ult not going to find a connection. Now that the BKBs are down, this is a 4v5 situation oh, in favor the, of Aurora. The illusion. With the Aegis still there on 23. 5k lead for Aurora as they want to go high ground. The tower is dead mid, but they'll focus on the bot for now. As I'm sure just trying to create space and they probably won't overcommit until they have this next Aegis on their side. And while this is happening, Skeeter is going to be pushing the top lane, but now might be backing his Malreen. Ready to go with his ult. There's the Dragon Tail stun to start things out. Rolling Thunder in addition. Great Do they have the lockdown? Crystal Maiden dead already as 23 Savage. His Lincoln is going to be popped. Eclipse to follow, but the ET ult coming in hits several heroes. And this is going to force Falcons back for now. Now the BKB's galore pop from Aurora as they're trying to go in pretty deep. Loranov gets the double kill. Amar will be the recipient of that. And that is Loranov. So we go back to live, and that is almost another tier three in favor of Aurora. Falcons being put to the test by the team that's already been eliminated. Oh, he's lost. Oh. gets bursted from full. No buyback at all. Against the best team in the tournament. This is the team you want to beat. This is where you want to play your best. Unfortunately, they lost five series before this one. Yep, that is unfortunate. 
It is a shame, but they are definitely showing what they're made of here. This game has honestly, so far, not even been remotely close. It has like, not. They are just out strategizing them. They played the moves better. Oh, they find a connection Mar. onto Amar. He has to be careful. This would be a dieback for him. Malreen with a nice rolling thunder. But Q's able to get out Snake quite easily dead. to focus on Ollie. And yeah, CM dead again. As Malreen forced back. He's going to get Gleipnir. Do they have the damage to finish him off? Not quite. Dragon Tail. You can see Jab's in pretty deep right now. We'll timber chain away, though. As the butterfly is finally completed for Skeeter. But this is the second Rax now. Aurora will be getting. And 23 Savage, you can see, literally not using his hands as he right clicks <laughs> these barracks. <laughs> oh, they actually go around the other side. Do they know they're up here? Oh, rolling they find Thunder the Rubik. Malreen. All right, Rubik instantly dies. They find Ollie next. That's two supports dead just like that. Stone Gaze popped by the Medusa, but the Halberd applied. Can't really auto attack. Will actually just TP out instead. They cut their losses. It's a really nice move from Falcons. The way this broke out. Well, Falcons are going to have to do something pretty damn quick. Creeps are in their base. This is a good read Born from off. them. Yep, they get the connection, but the Lincoln's procs on the Dragon Tail, but the blast off is there. You can't block that one. And the auto attacks from Amar. Will it be enough? The ETL comes in doing a massive amount of damage, but Crit is the first to fall along with Loranoff. So it's a one for one. As Skeeter pops his BKB, now trying to run away, has the Eclipse. As 23 Savage can't pursue any further. Oh, Skeeter stuck in the trees? Oh boy, that is rough. Telekinesis into the burst from Jabs. Can they defend? How can they possibly hold this? Well, Luna has buyback. That's one thing. As Malreen will try to get rid of the creeps, but she'll do so. The illusion's not so much, though. 23 Savage, another dispersal usage just to dodge out some of these St rolling thunder. Is that thunder. a stolen Dragon yeah. Tail? near on top. Malreen, he's just going to get bursted. Just like that, he's dead. 70 seconds. Does have his buyback remaining as the fortification finally activated on Falcons. And they're going to have five here pretty soon now with the buyback being expended by Malreen. Q is still holding on to that level four Dragon Tail. This is a very long stun. It's like three seconds long on Rubik with a decent cast range. 23 Savage, they got to get through him once. But the Sheep initiation from Jab, do they have the burst to get through to the Luna? Gets four staff. Oh, BKB is still there, stomp. but he's still stunned. Echo stomp on the several heroes. Down goes Skeeter. Still the buyback, though. He will use it. Snaking gets canceled on his, his ult pretty much immediately. Jabs disrupted during the timber chain. Eclipse comes out, but the Stone Gaze retreat means that most of these Eclipse charges will not connect. They're going to try to reset just a little bit. Ollie's going to be the first to fall. 23 Savage. No more BKB. His man is getting quite low, but Skeeter, this will be a dieback on him. He's not careful. Gleipnir onto two. Do they have the damage to finally finish off this Luna? Yes, dieback for Skeeter. And now Amar will be pursued on the high ground. The Rolling Thunder being used by Malri, but he's going to get focus fired. He might just drop. Indeed, he does. Double kill for Loranoff. GG's called Aurora completely stomp Falcons and provide them their first lost game Shit, of the group stage. They played so well this game. <laughs> why now? <laughs> why is this Why is this when you come online like this? What a beautiful game all around. We had a couple of questions about the strategy. My MVP for the game, Elder Titan. Not good against the supports. We got five seconds left. It will be Shadow Demon. Oh, also yeah. the anti-spin carry hero because you get the Ags, so you're purging him through BKB. Mm -hmm. Challenger is going to convert this because now Falcons have got a taste of what Aurora are all about. Oh, correct. You are going to have to use your disruption at some point, but it matters not. First blood for Loranoff, and that is a great person to have it on if you're an Aurora fan. They're just feeling free now that they have been eliminated from this tournament. Nice body block. Malreen. Swashbuckle onto the high ground. Loranoff begins chased. Shield crashes One there. Outplay. Malreen, 1v1 kill. Make his way back to his side of the river eventually. As Loranoff finds a snaking. Onto the high ground he goes. Jab's coming in. Oh, nice Star shot up. actually does get dodge Q. That's four members. They better get this kill. Oh, well, they that will. Does die. Creep has got to be one of the more annoying ones. It's very annoying, uh, especially because <laughs> there's two of them in the camp. Yeah. As Ollie 
Crit's pretty dead find here. Crit here, Lauren off. Oh, you say Maybe that, not. but Mars coming in with the Avatos potential. Doesn't even need the toss. Huh. Calculated it down to a science as Ollie takes the tumble. But Jab's coming in now. Focus fire onto Amar. 23 Savage as well coming in. Gets the toss off. Storm Hammer does hit, though. And Amar will fall to the Chakram. Yeah. As I said, Amar dead. Yeah. It's going to stop him from stacking these Ancients, you would imagine. Nope, he's actually going to let him do it. Yeah, doesn't want to give it away, Cinderin. Or he just steals it later. Yeah, this is really good if Jabs were to go for this right now, if you could steal a big chunk of it. But now the Invis will expire. Jabs actually saw him there on the stairs. Oh, wow. For a brief moment, Malrin was one step down too far. He's wasted a lot of time now. Swash. You got some Aurora members coming in. Swash was stolen by Q. Tower does fall, though, as Malrin. Oh, oh nice land. Is trying to go for the ult, but it gets shackled to a tree instead and bursted down. After all of that time, Malreen gets punished super hard. They Aurora still get the like tower. The they get the tower and they're pushing mid tower, so not too bad for Falcons there. Oh, Frostbite into the freezing field as Jab's making his way. Gets the Avatos now. That is enough burst damage to take him out. And Ollie looks to be next. Snaking the Ice Queen. Yep. Ollie will eventually get run down here. Question is, how much damage can he do? Can he take out Snaking potentially? No. Avalanche will cancel the drain. Really good plays happening from both sides right now. Yep. Quinn not picking it when it's not banned. That must mean something. Avalanche, toss back. Such 23 a Savage kill. is dead. He was not expecting to get jumped by his own tier two in mid. There was no protection nearby. If you're going an offensive build like this, you better fight, right? Like, otherwise, what was the point? If he's just gonna go and farm, he could have bought all of these tankiness items for when the fights eventually break out. Jabs is spotted. Ooh! That wow. Was a quick reaction. That was so fast. Although 23 Savage would definitely be the bigger kill. Pops his ult in an attempt to, to get run? away. Frostbite is there with a the freezing field to follow. That is a freebie for Falcons. I mean, their shards are actually pretty damn good all around. Yeah. Like, it's a core tiny, so the shard's not too bad now. As crit finds an opening. Onto Jabs as the Eclipse comes out from Skeeter and another freebie for Falcons. As yep. Q is found out, Malreen, shadowed by Snake King, Amar, gonna get the Avalanche, actually hits the Wind Ranger as well. Tossback actually helps Q a little bit, but the tree throw does finish the job as Ollie, oh boy, this is getting out of hand quickly. Frost bit up, Lucent Beam inside his. Oh, wow. They actually find Lauren off on the side as well. So four kills across the board, and obviously the Sven could not help out because God's strength has been down. He is even in danger here. Amar. Malreen is on the way. 23 Savage wants to fight through this, knowing that the backup is likely coming. And we'll pop the war cry as the TP is coming from Aurora. 23 Savage is very little mana. Swashbuckle's there. It's not quite enough to get the kill, though. His jab's coming in. Whirling Death. A lot of damage applied to Malry. That is enough to find the kill. And 23 Savage lives. Yeah, they just have so many dispels at their disposal. 23 Savage now grouping up with the rest of Aurora to take out their Tormentor. Amar hunting. Gets the toss back into the Ava. Do they have the vision? Yes, Q is dead. Tormentor will give Q his shard in the grave as the Rolling Thunder finding Wind Ranger. There's a heal up from Ollie, but it's not enough. Lucent Beam finishes him off. Eclipse very deep. Falcons are going, and 23 Savage falls. It's going to buy back on it. Okay, it's not going to matter. <laughs> it's just the Rubik buyback. They find four kills deep in the base, and Falcons. We've seen this before with the Luna, as GG oh. just called. Absolutely. I, I guess. I guess it was time to go high ground. Classic for this patch, 20 minute game. <laughs> See these all the time. <laughs> Aurora, they built up, they got their Sven ready, and then they instantly lost. It's a big difference though, because level 30 could mean literally infinite games. That's well, true. 29 is, yeah, they go for the DK. They still go for the DK, why not? DK looks better than Lena here, for sure. Siege. Oh, Skater's in trouble bottom. Yep, the Avalanche is there. Tossing him into Toss all the into trees. Jab. That's extra damage. Snake King though, go the slow. And Skeeter will live, although Jabs is pursuing this, has the Timber Chain. Gonna try to go for Snake King instead, gets him to half HP with just one Whirling Death. And Q continuing on. And Skeeter 
One Lucent Beam, he's gonna attempt to run away. Snake King will eventually be hunted down. And that's first blood. Game one was outstanding. I don't think they're likely to replicate something like that against Falcons another time, but we've definitely seen oh, that the Skeeter. highs are high. Yeah, Q. chased. Avalanche is gonna find him. He's in the midst of a lot of trees, which means Jabs is gonna do a lot of damage. They're gonna get ganked though. In the meantime, the boat coming in and Skeeter, no eclipse, but it matters not. His allies have shown up in numbers. Good. And they rotation. punish Jabs very hard. But yeah, it is weird to say it out loud, but it kind of isn't a good Q action. is going to be stunned right off the bat. The dive comes in into the egg as well. No egg killer like you talked about. As a nice save, actually. <laughs> save snaking from the burst of Jabs, but likely will fall anyway. The zip in from Lornoff. Very little mana. He's going to get frostbit before snaking falls. The Phoenix dies, so it's a two for one. Supports the only ones to fall so far is Malreen. Gets a dragon tail onto Jabs. And Lornoff is going to have to run away. As four members of Falcons can't really find the core that they were looking for. That's what it took Falcons on the offensive. Q. Find Q. He's going to tank the gank. He's got reinforcements coming. The torrent's going to hit. Not going to get the fast kill. Eventually he will die, but it takes a little bit of extra time. And you can see Crit was the recipient of Jabs' burst damage. Malrain's well going to the Orchid reveal. Get some. You can at least stand your ground and take it from there. Yeah, I don't think either side are. Too upset if this ends up going to the late game. Yeah, Aurora, I love that. They, yeah, that's their specialty. The last game was probably Snake 60 game. minutes under their that average. A dangerous spot to be in. Going to try to burst him down. They finally do with jabs. It's disrupted, though. The boat is coming for him. Into the eclipse. Jabs is dead. Nice loose and beam to stop that timber chain. The egg is placed, and that means Falcons needs to run away. The focus right now is onto the Luna, but Skeeter able to get to the high ground. And with that, ooh, the oh. Arcane Rune about oh, to be stolen. The Avalanche will prevent it. So Lorinoff gets it in the end and zips away. We'll be able to get back to base, it looks like. All right, well, Malreen in the cover of smoke. Yeah, Manta now picked up for the side of Aurora. 23, keeping up with the Luna quite well. Oh, jabs. You're going to be able to get out of this one. Lots of roots. Freezing field now. Disruption setting up the torrent. That'll be the death of Timbersaw again. And of course, disrupt himself to buy time if this were to turn into a smoke. Aurora, very congregated. Here we go. Smoke is going to end up popping here in just a moment, although Skeeter heads to the north. Oh, they're head Amar is great. screwed. They're going right to Amar. He pops the blade mail, but he's just dead. Oh, Arnoff BKB that. And now this is going to leave them with about two minutes left with the Aegis once Amar is back online. Although Lornov, uh -oh. Dragon Tail initiation. Or should BKB, buddy. There's the Frostbite. Yeah, that is a killer. Yeah. Their, line their lineup can absolutely win this late game. Dragon Knight scales like a beast. So does Luna. But oh, Amar not on a traditionally super scaling hero here for him. Yeah, perhaps Aurora is Falcon's Kryptonite. Who would have thought? Crit. Crit. Showing off the Blink Dagger, Dragon Tail to follow. Jab's already at half HP, has to pop his BKB in the Eclipse. Essentially wasted then. X mark. Yep, the nice egg timing. is going to be used on the high oh. ground to prevent the bring back. A Skeeter will steal the Wisdom Rune. And they're going to go try and go deep here. They get the Dragon Tail onto Ollie again. Nice Lucent Beam to prevent the dive. Lorinoff trying to get some revenge here. Has to pop his BKB. He's taking a ton of damage, has to zip away. The boat comes in. Really having to go there. More dragons. Yeah, this is where it becomes really obnoxious. 23 Savage, is that full Agi right now? He's gonna go in for the Conda hit onto Skeeter, but he gets stunned up right off the bat. Eclipse to follow, he's gonna pop his BKB. He's gonna live as a result. Jab's going in, there's the egg with the Sunray applied. And this is the disengage from Falcons. Amara hasn't gotten the notice though. Pops his BKB, now going back in. And Lornoff will zip away. Ollie on the cliff attempting to TP out. And he's going to get frostbit and killed off. So one dead after all of that. He's going to buy back pretty much right off the bat. And the Torrent Storm, nice connections onto gems. He pops the BKB but then dies and drops the gem as well. Lornoff now has to zip back out completely out of mana. As 23 Savage trying to finish off Skeeter. But this is just life number one. Putting yourself in a bit of a precarious spot. And Jabs oh, not able to get the connection onto Skeeter. It's going to cost him. Quite a bit of HP. He actually will not fall, though. That would have been a dieback if they were able to find that for Falcons. <laughs> uh, Skeeter with the Lucent Beam. Conda 
Malrain. Oh, Ooh, all right, another nice base fire. Blank. Sunray coming into play. Q taking heavy damage, but Lornoff is in the thick of things. X and the Taurus Storm going off, not really finding much, though. As Falcons will reset the egg. Force them back for the time being. The Torrent perfectly timed, though, and there's the silence and the destruction of the Phoenix. 70 seconds without Ollie. Backing out. They get the roar off, and maybe they're just trying to bait it, which is yep, that sound. They are. Cue. 23. Oh, the opener. That's it. quite a bit of damage. We get the attribute shift off. The boat is coming. Pops the BKB. Torrent Storm is there. As Amar popping his blade mail now, but look at the damage onto Jabs. He has to BKB and try to run away. Not sure if you'll find it, though. Way too much damage from Falcons. They rip right through him. And now, looks like the Tiny is next. Not sure they can take out 23 Savage, so they'll have to settle for the support. As the Havoc Hammer is enough from Amar. So two dead for Aurora. Both maintain buyback for now. Looks like they want to push, though. Uh-oh. Dragon Tail. Again, the attribute shift comes off as 23 Savage taking a full eclipse. No waveform for five seconds. Do they have the damage? Yes. He does have buyback, though. That's three dead for Aurora. They're going to have to expend it. Once this tower goes down, Luna will decimate your base. They're losing minimum two lanes if they don't buy back here. Absolutely. They, actually, they could force Throne if they really want the buybacks to come out here. Yeah. They'll go for the Mar. waves. Going for the torrent in the fountain. Very important. So first lane to Falcons. There's the fortification again. And Aurora almost certainly going to be buying back here. Missed the toss oh, he back. tries to go for it, but yeah, the Dragon Tail comes out. Get the stun onto Malreen. Able to get out for now, though. As Ollie does not, he does have his egg. Skeeter, now he's getting gone. And pops the Satanic, trying to 1v1 versus 23 Savage. There is the egg as well. Doesn't have the sun ray. Oh, actually, there it is. That'll force Falcons to back away for now. Zone control from the rest of Aurora to really enable this Phoenix, it seems. Maybe a Storm Axe could help. Now Snake King. Ooh, he's actually going to avoid any initiation there from Aurora. And Lornoff already used half his mana pool just to try to catch him. Tidal, Tidal wave. wave onto Q. What's As, 23 oh, 23 doing? Savage all alone. The Kaga, oh my the God, Torrent, what is he's that? dead. Two minutes without Morphling. Was he trying to, to flank, but that might just cost them the game. I mean, they are down 30k. Oh boy! But that is a rough way to lose. He wanted the backstab, got caught, gets caught off completely alone. And yeah, you're right. It's like, what do you do now? Phoenix would have to buy back for it, of course. Doesn't have egg quite yet. And that is going to be almost megas. One more barracks to go if they want. Oh, they do get it. And now the tier fours are next. Q and Jabs, last stand for them. The focus right now is on the Skeeter. He pops the BKB and has the Satanic to boot. And Jabs on the outskirts of his base will be broken. Disruption is there while the rest of his supports die. And it's just Jabs now along with the Storm as GG's come out. So Falcons do win the series. Definitely tougher than a lot of people, including ourselves, were anticipating. Aurora putting up a good fight. Yeah. But it does end up in the same result we were expecting in the series, at least, with Falcon winning.